that just started shooting children and teachers that were inside that classroom, having no regard for human life. Uh, my daughter, Annabelle Guadalupe Rodriguez. Her name, uh, she's only 10 years old. Why do we keep letting this happen? First of four, continued coverage of the tragedy in Texas. His family searched for answers after 19 kids and two adults were shot and killed yesterday by an 18-year-old man. It has been a very heavy 24 hours, hasn't it? We are glad that you're with us this afternoon. I'm Brian Dorman. And I'm Shannon Brousseau. We're learning more information this afternoon from Texas authorities, including what happened before that horrific attack. Aaron Jones has the latest on that from Uvalde, Texas. Investigators swarm the streets around Uvalde's Robb Elementary School, the site of the nation's latest heartbreak. It is intolerable and it is unacceptable for us to have in the state anybody who would kill little kids in our schools. Texas Governor Greg Abbott says 18-year-old Salvador Ramos posted on Facebook before shooting his grandmother and then barging into a fourth grade classroom with an AR-15 assault rifle. Police say that's where he killed 19 children and two teachers. The shooter was able to make entry into a classroom, barricaded himself, and at that point, it just started shooting children and teachers that were inside that classroom, having no regard for human life, just a complete tragedy. After confronting and killing the shooter, police went to his home and found his grandmother clinging to life. A neighbor says the shooter moved in with his grandparents because of troubles at home and describe him as quiet and hard to talk to. His motive, unknown. As the FBI went door to door speaking to neighbors, investigators revealed the suspect had legally purchased two rifles soon after turning 18. There has been no criminal history identified yet. He may have had a juvenile record, but that is yet to be determined. There was no known mental health history. After an agonizing wait for information, all families have now been notified of their loss, including relatives of 10-year-old Eliana Garcia. She was very sweet. President Biden, after pleading for new gun restrictions, will visit Uvalde as soon as this weekend, hoping to bring comfort to the heartbroken. Aaron Jones, CBS News, Uvalde, Texas.